Hello, my creative stampers, and happy Monday night stamping. I hope you all are ready to rumble with the stamping stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh, football season is almost back. I can't believe I've been doing this almost a year now. Well, I guess it has been a year now because I started in football season last year. So <laughs> Monday night football turned into Monday night stamping. Oh my gosh. So we've got Susan and Luana and uh, Joyce all in the house this morning. I mean, this evening. Goodness gracious, where am I? <laughs> and there's Rosie. Hello. Good evening. Yeah. Uh, so tonight I have a new art form for you called Kintsugi. Uh, I listened to the pronunciation and that basically is how it sounds, but it's Japanese, Japanese art of fixing broken pottery with gold, or sometimes I use silver or platinum, but it looks really beautiful with gold. So um, yeah, that's what we're going to do, but we're going to do it with paper, not pottery. <laughs> um, I learned this technique off of, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, coast, uh, oh, food, I forgot. Mm. Oh, please be on here. Well, the girl's name is Beth Rush. She's the one who did the tutorial. I want to call it East Coast Stamping or something like that, or West Coast Stamping or something Coast Stamping. Y'all help me out. Y'all know what it's called. If you don't know what it's called, it's an awesome site. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is it called, you guys? Ah, I forgot. Um, okay. It's not, y'all aren't, y'all, yeah. okay, I can't. Give credit if I don't know where I got the information from, but I did write it down in my planner because, you know, I do try to plan and get organized. Uh, split coast, like I could remember that. Split coast stamping, you guys. So split coast stamping. Yeah, check that site out. Uh, they've got bazillion tutorials and it's more than just stamping up people. They have all brands of paper crafters on there and uh, it's pretty cool. But anyway, so I got this from them. Now, uh, Beth, um, what was her name again? Beth Rush. She is a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I presume, or at least a hobbyist because uh, she used Stampin' Up! materials in her example. But I'm not going to copy her card. I got some different DSP and different stamp set. So mine's going to look a little different, but the concept's still the same. All right, there we go. Lots more people in the house. Now we have, um, who else do we have? We got Carmen and Jana and Liz, Maribel, um, do, 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 do. And uh, Mallory, Katharina. Oh, I like that name. Katharina. Joyce, Vicky, a second Joyce. I got two Joyces in the house. Tanya or Tanya, Char, love it. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for showing up and joining us all tonight. And remember, if you share the video with your friends, on uh, uh, more people find us and it's more fun to talk with each other while I'm. Uh, going on and stumbling through a card tutorial. <laughs> All right. So I have done this and we're going to see how smoothly I can do it again in front of the camera. So let me switch over. Oh, one more thing. No Fun Fold Friday. You know why? I'm going to be in Vegas, baby. So Stampin' Up! leaders are heading to Vegas on Thursday. Uh, we are going to a leaders retreat at the Red Rock Casino and Spa. Um, so I'm going to learn how to be a better leader, plus have a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, follow me on Instagram if you want to follow along with the weekend. I'll be posting pictures there on Instagram. So, okay, let's uh, switch camera views then. There we go. Okay, so uh, first of all, we need to show you basically what's going on here. So what I've done is I've torn this paper, okay, and I put Versamark. Now, I did it on all the papers to show you kind of what's going on here. Let me get some black paper so you can see it better. Hold on. Face it black. Come here. There we go. Oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah, you can say this a lot better now. All right, so notice how thick I kind of did it on this side, and I really got it thick right there. You want to avoid that, and also you only want to do one side, okay, because when you put it back together, you don't want like this big monster break. You want it to look like they have repaired the pottery, so basically you just have a gold crack. That's all you want. You don't want this big part right here. Okay. So when you're putting the Versa mark on your edge of your paper, you want to be careful only to get just a wee bit on there. All right. And I'm going to try to give you some tips on how to do that best. All right. So there we go. 
So what you do, um, well, before I start, let me show you all the materials I'm using. So I've got Earthen Elegance, and I'm using this uh, Pretty Peacock and this, um, I don't know, kind of some kind of metal embossed metal look thing here. So I'm using those two DSPs. Um, I'm putting it on black so the gold will show up. Um, I cut out some gold grass to put behind the sentiment. Plus I grabbed my gold uh, ribbon here. So we got lots of gold going on my sentiment. And this is the piece that we're going to tear up and put back together. So let me get all this out of the way. And you want to tear it into about three or four pieces. And you, as you're tearing it, be careful not to get um, too much white showing. Now, you're going to see a little white, okay? So see, you, you can see a little white there. Now, yeah, you can see a little white. You don't want too much white. Okay, and just, uh, and just kind of pinch it while you're tearing. There you go. And then you do this side over here. And then maybe down this way. So the tears can be any anywhere you want them. It doesn't really matter because you're going to be putting it back together once you get the gold on there. All right. So now we have our four pieces. Now, the trick to this also, let me pull back out my black sheet, um, is which side to put the gold on. Because when you put it back together, you really want to, put it back on top of the white like that. So see how you can see a little bit of the white that way, or you can completely cover it up like that and just have the gold there. So whichever side you put the Versamark, just remember you only want a wee bit so it looks like a crack, okay, and not a big glump. All right, so let's get out our Versamark. Here it is. And we're just going to open it up and... Uh, what am I doing? Yeah. So I'm just going to like, just stick it in here. I'm not going to swipe it because see this, that's what happened when I did this. I swiped it and I got way too much Versamark on there. All right. So you only want a little bit of Versamark on there, just enough to cover the crack. So you see, I'm just kind of just pushing it down into the sponge. All right. And if your pad is not real juicy, you may want to re-ink it. So be sure you have your re-inker. What do I do with my re-inker? Here it is. All right, so you got your re-inker and you can get it real juicy first. All right, and then, um, so I can't remember if I did that side or not. All right, so we've got that one done. Now this one, and remember, now put it all back together. Make sure you're, you got all your pieces. Because like I said, you don't want to double, double gold. So this one is here, so I don't need gold there. All right, because I got it on this one. And this piece goes up here, so I don't need it here. I got it there. All right. So these two sides are not going to get it, but this will get it. And so basically, I'm doing it on the whites. Okay. And that way, I know that I'm only getting on on one side. And we stick it in there. Just stick it in there. Okay. And then so it's kind of when you've got like a curve, you're going to have to like use the corner of the Versamark. There we go. Pad, corner of the pad. All right. I'm hoping that this is going to work. <laughs> like I said, you know, I can, I can do it so many times and then it still won't do right, but that's all right. Okay. I think I got it. All right. Make sure I'm here. Now I just need my gold powder. I'm just going to go ahead and pour it on this black paper. Nope, didn't put any on that one. Yeah, that's another reason why it's good to just decide which side you're going to. So I just did the white where the white was showing. And that way I remember which ones have Versamark and which ones don't. Cool, huh? Y'all having fun? All right. Um, yeah, sponge dauber, Mar Margaret. I did sponge dauber, but be careful. Like I said, if you swipe it, you may get too much. So you could do a sponge dauber and just daub it directly into it. But you just want... Oh, see how much I got on there? Wow. I'm going to have to use a... So if you do get way too much, take your brush and brush some of that off. I probably should have used the boneful. I mean, the... Um, uh, 
embossing buddy on there to make sure I didn't get too much. There we go. That's good. That's good. All right. So if you get too much on there, just use a paintbrush, a dry brush and go in there and make sure it's not all over. Whoops. Don't blow into the pile. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Gold dust everywhere. Oh my gosh. Call me crazy. There we go. That's better. Okay, so we, there, those two are cleaned up. This one shouldn't have any on it because I didn't put anything on that one. It's cleaned up. Oh, this one needs a lot of cleaning. Okay, come here. Ugh. It's hard to pick up. Come here. There we go. Okay, and let me put this back in here. There we go. Okay. That looks good. That one looks good. All right. I was working on this one. Come here. There we go. Yeah. You definitely want a paintbrush. Because like I said, you just want a little bitty bit. Just enough so it looks like you've sealed a broken crack. There we go. That looks great. And then this one didn't have any on it. Now, my heat gun... And um, be uh, sorry this takes a minute to do the heat gun, but y'all just uh, bear with me for a sec while I get this embossed. Okay. And if you've never heat embossed before, you know it's done when it starts to shine, okay? Yeah, because this is gold metallic, and so it should look like shiny gold. Yeah. And just kind of tilt it in the light. Till it looks all shiny. Oh, I just can't tell on that one. Oh, no, it wasn't ready. Okay, now it's melting. Now it's melting. There we go. No, I'm still having some trouble right there. Come on, melt. Okay, that, that's good. Now let me get this one. Come on. And this last one. The longer your heat gun runs, the hotter it gets and the faster um, the faster the melting takes place. All right. So now we've got it all on here. Oh, my gosh. This looks gorgeous. Okay. So let me move this out of the way and pull back in my card. All right. So we need... Oh, and by the way, I cut my DSP at three and a half by four and three quarters. And then I cut this at three and three quarters by four, five. I forget. Anyways, <laughs> just hold on. I'll measure it in just a sec. All right. So that's going to go there. That's going to go there. That goes there. And this one goes here. Okay. So now let me put this all together. So I need some tape. There we go. And there we go. Now, I'm about an eighth of an inch around. Okay. There we go. Now, this one I need on top. See how that is going to do that so you can see the gold. Notice. Yeah. Just like that. Okay. Pretty. Love it. Okay. So we'll put that there, that there. Okay. Now this one is going to go underneath both of these. Yeah. All right. So let me get this one on. 
this one is going to bump up to this one. Oops. Yep, that looks good. And finally, this one goes underneath these two. I should have put this one down first. Yeah, because if you put it on top, you'll cover up the gold. All right. Come here, get under there. There we go. Yeah, definitely should have put it on first. <laughs> Y'all learning my mistakes with me. There we go. And then line up those two matching points. Whoops, it's a little tilted. Mm. Yeah, hold on, that's a little tilted. Don't press it down until you're ready. Okay, get back in there. All right, oh, get back under there. Ah, Arr. there we go. Okay. That's better. Okay, da da. <laughs> so see, and then now the, see how I tilted and the gold reflect. Isn't that fun? So this is called. Kutsumi. Is, no, I'm sorry, Kutsumi. <laughs> totally wrong. This is called Kintsugi. So K-I-N-T-S-U-G-I. Kintsugi. Or, yeah. The Japanese say it a little different. I don't have a good Japanese accent, <laughs> but that's the idea. All right, let's finish putting the card together then. And uh, I have this piece, and then I just, I'm using basic white card base. Um here we go. Um, and then I cut this to cover the entire front. So it's four and a quarter by five and a half. There we go. And now the girl who showed how to do this on Split Coast Stampers, she used our blue um, uh, countryside in paper. And it looked like blue china. Oh my gosh, that was really pretty. But like I said, I didn't want to copy hers. So I'm making mine with this beautiful, um, pretty peacock. Now, let me make sure I haven't missed any questions. I always get so ahead of myself. All right, let's go way up here where we left off. Okay. Well, thank you, Jean, for sharing. I appreciate that. And Becky, she shared. Oh, hello there, Teresa from Africa. Oh, Nashville instead of Africa. So are you visiting or what's up, Teresa? Oh, Tanya doesn't do Instagrams. Oh, well, Tanya, um, you, I'll probably have them on my creating this, uh, creating with Christina, this Facebook page too, because Instagram does share. So you'll probably see them still. And then Liz is telling me, yeah, it's split coast stamping. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, I can use a sponge dauber. I told you on that, yeah. So if you use a sponge dauber. Okay, so Jane, it's uh, there's the same name when you call it glass, when you fix the glassware. Okay, cool. Yeah, I just read about the pottery. So glassware too, that's awesome. Um, but yeah, I think it's so pretty. Okay, so I have that on there. Then we're just going to put this on there and then we'll put our sentiment on there. We'll be done because we don't need any much more. This is our focal point right here. We don't want to take away from that. Okay, so we have that. There we go. Oh, that's so pretty. And then um, let's stamp the sentiment real quick. And I just pulled out my pretty peacock. And this is the thank you from the stamp set. And I'm going to have it go uh, further to the right on this um, banner. And these are just from the uh, stylus shape dies. Um, that way I can trim that one off. I'm going to have it flat, but I want to layer it on this gold one. There we go. So I'm going to put that right there. Okay, that looks good. Then I'm going to trim that. Where are my snips? Come here, snips. There you are. Now I have to be careful because I should have gotten it even closer to the edge, but I think we got enough room here. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay. So we're going to put that right there. But before we do that, we're going to put some grass down and some ribbon down. So let me get my glue dots out. 
And my tweezers. Nope, there they are. Okay. Now I'm putting them on top because I'm putting the banner on top of them. There we go. There we go. Okay, so put this one pretty close to the top there. And then this one I can do a little further down. Let's see. Yeah. Kind of overlay them. Oh, yeah. So kind of looks like that. That looks cool. And then get some ribbon back there. I might have wanted to end the ribbon before, but that's okay. And I'm just going to do a quick bow. Two bunny ears. And it's kind of a long bow so that um, it'll stick out from both sides. Let's see if that's good. Yeah, that looks good. All right. There we go. All right. And another blue dot. Oops. I took the cover off instead of the blue dot. So what side do I like better? I like this side better because it's um the tails show more glue that way. Uh-oh, back on there. All right, let's. Oops. Okay. Whoops. Dimensionals. I'm not sure what I was doing there with the bow and the glue dot. <laughs> Just ignore that. <laughs> Being weird. Okay. There we go. And voila! There we go. Kitsum, kitsugi. Kintsugi. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hope you all will try this technique. I got Sandra's got a question here. I accidentally got embossing powder on my Versamark pad. Uh, well, there there is one way is to wash the whole pad. I get it under there, under the faucet, wash it all off, let it dry, and then re-ink it. That's one way. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, you always want to close up your powder. I mean, close up your Versamark ink after you've used it before you play with your powder. It's a, it's really frustrating when you get the powder, especially when it's a colored powder, like black or something. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry about that, Sandra. It's frustrating. So Vicky says, very pretty, very pretty. All right. Don't forget Friday. No Fun Fold Friday. I'm going to be in Las Vegas with the Stampin' Up! Leaders Conference. Um, and uh, you can follow along on Instagram or um, the my Facebook page, Creating with Christine. It'll be both places. Uh, it will probably be on my personal page, too, if you're a friend of mine, which I don't mind. Y'all can ask to be my friend. Just tell me where you're coming from, because sometimes I get friend requests and I'm like, mm, I'm not sure who you are. Uh, and and because there's so many spammers out there, I try to be careful, but I, I don't mind being your friend. I'd love to be your friend. I just need to make sure I know who you are. <laughs> and if you're one of my uh, people who follow me on my videos, I'd love to have you as my friend. Okay, great. You all have a great Monday night and I will see you Wednesday morning for Card Challenge Wednesday, okay? <laughs> be good, you guys. Bye-bye.